Perhaps uh, if you had, oh, say, if we could break this down for a layman, if perhaps we had four apples and we wanted <laughs> half of them to not understand the rule, we would take two of them away. Right. <laughs> now, Ben Roethlisberger decides to chime in on it. People just assume that the quarterback should know it all and that every, you know, everyone should know that stuff. And it's not, it's not necessarily true because whoever thinks about that situation, how often does it come up? Um, and, and the rules change so often that you never know what happens. So people are way, way too, too hard on Donovan and make it too, way too big of a deal about this. It's not, it's not really as big of a deal as, it, as people are making it out to be. Okay, my theory is this. Everybody defending Donovan McNabb on this this issue is doing it because they themselves did not know the rule. I did. I knew the rule. I just you think did, they're making yeah. more out of it than it actually is. Well, I agree with that. It had nothing to do with the play and the, the you know how they played the game. It's just it's funny how everybody's defending him. It's it was a, it was a funny comment. Well, yeah, but you notice what I said right off the bat? It's not I mean, it's his fault for not knowing it, but it's it's Andy Reid's fault. Dude, you're the head coach of this guy. You've been in how many overtime games with him and never once have you said to him, you know, by the way, Donovan. Well, <laughs> this is it. Hey. Based on what Brian Billick said, there's a 50-50 chance Andy Reid didn't know the rule. You know, uh, <laughs> in, in speaking with Andy Reid in between bites of his hero's sandwich, I determined that he barely knew the rules himself. As a matter of fact, from what I understand, he thought heroin was legal, so he stocked it up for his children in his home. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, you talk about having this guy, that guy in fantasy, and, and you wouldn't you just, hey, be glad you did not have Santana Moss or Jason Campbell. Mm, oh, you know what? <laughs> Shut up. I don't even want to hear about that. But I'll tell you one thing. I, you know, In terms of fantasy uh, football, one thing I'm really happy about, that big keeper league that I talk about all the damn time, one of my keepers this past year was Thomas Jones. Nice. Yeah, I, who had one touchdown last year. I said, you know what, just let me, let me take a chance here. And man, oh man, I have Thomas Jones and Maurice Jones-Drew just tearing it up in that league right now. Woo. Oh, well, I'm glad, because for you anyway, but Steven Jackson sits there rotting on my bench. He's not going to play again this week. Yeah, I know. Ugh. What exactly is his problem other than it's, he's it's severely his ugly? Or his thigh, whatever, and thigh muscle is not healing. He's gone to a specialist. But they did say they don't, he won't play this week, but they expect him back the following week. So we'll see. Again. Again, right. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, do, you, do you want to defend your? Uh, oh, defend your the Redskins, Redskins or anything? Uh, you no. know, I'll tell you what. No, I, credit to the Cowboys. Terrence Newman. Terrence Newman played a hell of a football Terrence game. Newman. Yeah, yeah Terrence. he did. It was obvious he was back. Yeah, and you know, I'll tell you what. On the first play of the game, the Redskins had uh, where um, he, they we tried to throw a pass out to Santana Moss, and it kind of ducked out of Campbell's hand and died about five yards before Moss. He had run. He had run Newman off again. I'm thinking, oh boy, here we go. He had run Newman down the field and did the comebacker <laughs> on him. But nope, Newman had a good game. Uh, Would Moss have one catch? Yeah, I think he only had one or two catches. Moss, you know, there's a little bit of rumbling going on here in Washington this week. Uh, Moss said that, you know, basically pointed the finger at Zorn and said that you have to take more than one shot down the field. You know, if, if you're, you can't just say to me, here's your shot, make it happen. You got to give me a couple of opportunities and, you know, we can get right. in the flow of the game. Um, and to which I'm riding down the road listening to this in the, in the car and I'm thinking, you know, Santana, in that one shot, the ball hit you in the freaking hands. God, it hit him in the hands at the seven yard line. So once again, uh, the Redskins get beat, but at the t- same time, they have opportunities that they just cannot capitalize on. First, first and 10 from inside the 20, no points. Uh, you know, it, it was a, Good old fashioned typical NFC East Smash Mouth Slugfest, and we just landed oh, a couple yeah. more punches. Really, is what it came the, down to. Well, yeah, we, the Redskins just don't take shots down the field, and I have a feeling that was because the Cowboys' defense was taking things away from them. But they just their offense has slowed down in the last four or five weeks, and I don't like seeing it. This game against Seattle scares the crap out of me. That was the best pass rush I've seen out of Dallas this year, mm. without a doubt. Now, you know when Dallas played Washington before in Dallas and you guys won, you said, gee, it was awful nice of Jerry Jones mm-hmm. to build Santana Moss a brand new home. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah well, sure well, Bar- Barry Bonds has some advice for uh, you and Santana Moss, John. Barry Bonds. When your closet's clean, then come clean somebody else's. Right. Oh. You better take care of business at home. Hey, you know, and don't, don't, don't forget, don't miss a spot. There's some <laughs> dust in the corner. I can't clean my closet no more because my head is over steroided and I can't fit it through the doorway to be able to get the vacuum in there. All of you have dirt. Right. <laughs> yeah. All you guys lie. <laughs> All of you. Every one of you. That guy over there told me he had a large package and I saw him in the shower and he lied. I'm too old for childish activities. You guys want to pick on me about my alleged steroid use? You're just going to have to 
step on the poor downtrodden black man and make sure my son hears you so he feels as bad as possible. <laughs> God, what, what brought this asshole up again? Did he say something this week? No. Okay, just fine. No, he just, Barry Bonds. He just <laughs> told Santana Moss to clean out his own closet before he worries about somebody else's. I hear you. I hear yeah. you. Usain yeah. Bolt. <laughs> Usain Bolt. Right. All right. Uh, there's nothing else to say about the game, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, congratulations to the Cowboys. We're both six and four. We've split the series, so right. And you, you know, how's how's this feel for you? I guarantee I'm going to sit here and say it right now. One of us is going to sit here and say, "Yeah, hooray! I'm in the playoffs." And one of us is going to sit here and go, "God damn it! How did the Falcons get in the playoffs ahead of us?" <laughs> damn it! Well, I hope it's you sitting there watching. I hope it's you. Skip Bayless, Skip Bayless is uh, guaranteed Dallas is only going to go eight and eight and miss the playoffs. Oh, go! Well, he knows the National Football League. He that's right. He does. That's, he does. He knows the National Hockey League and he knows the National Indoor Lacrosse League. Are you kidding me? He must be just joking. Are you joshing me? <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, <laughs> I swear to God. That's like this. That's the sound you get when you find out that the hooker you've been talking to is really a guy. Oh, I see. Yeah. How? Oh. Skipper. You didn't. <laughs> the name Skipper didn't tell you. <laughs> Can go either way. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh, yes. 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 Good old Skip. All right. Um. So I, before we before we get to a break, I just wanted to touch on this Bears Packers game a little bit. Yeah, let's touch on the Bears Packers game. I'll tell you about my little bit about my football watching Sunday last week. You know. When the Redskins play later at night, I don't know what games I get during the day. And I got that Giants-Ravens game, dude. And I was expecting a big old slobber knocking good knockdown. I know. Dude, the Giants oh. just owned them. Oh. They are looking so powerful. I know. Three running backs with a five-yard average. I Jesus. I know. <laughs> I don't know how they're doing uh, it. I do. They're running it right down people's throats. I and they're know, beating them up how? up front on how defense. Do you, how do you run it right down Baltimore's throat? Oh, they, I, dude, they just... They just completely dictated that game from start to finish. I know. It was terrible. I get it. The, the only thing that was worse was the Bears beating. <laughs> the Bears getting smacked oh by the Packers. They did. They got their ass kicked. Dude, uh, I, I was I was shocked by that. I thought that the Bears would stand up and play a little bit because I figured that the Packers' run defense would never be able to stop Forte. Right. But apparently the Packers had a very good game plan. And I didn't think Ryan Grant would be able to run the way he did on the Bears. Ooh. I thought you know, that, that was another good run defense got shredded. I thought, have you ever seen those old, um, like, uh, Ed Sullivan shows where they had those acrobats from China and there's that one guy running around on his hands all the time? That's how I thought Ryan or Grant would run on the Bears. <laughs> but apparently he used his feet. Right. <laughs> it well, listen, listen, I, I can tell you, well, I'm not going to tell you, but the guys on the, on the Bears post game show will tell you how the Packers won this game. All right. Yeah. Here it is. But that's what they did. They came and they ran, ran at us. They accomplished it. And then they and then they passed on us. A hell of a game plan by the Packers. There you, there you go. go. They threw it and then they they no they ran it and then they threw it and that was how they did it, John. <laughs> they ran it and they threw it, Tom. You, I got to hear it again. But that's what they did. They came and they ran ran at us. They accomplished it and then they and then they passed on us. A hell of a game plan by the Packers. <laughs> Excellent game plan. <laughs> hey 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 fellers! I got a great idea this week. How about we go out there and we run the ball and then we pass the ball? <laughs> we ought to be able to whoop them bears good. <laughs> that is Doug Buffone, by the way. Doug Buffone, who used to play in the NFL for the Bears. Doug Buffoon, you might as well call him after listening to that. That's, um, I guess since we always play these clips, we ought to say where I get them from. That's 670 to score in Chicago. That's Ed Ambramovich, I guess, who used to play for the NFL, for the Bears maybe once or twice, I guess. And Doug <laughs> Buffoon, with that great assessment of the Packers game plan. Yeah, they're going to run the ball and then they're going to throw the ball. This was funny. They got a call from this fan, and he was so pissed and embarrassed. <laughs> Listen to what he had to say. I got to tell you, I've seen this happen with 30 seconds left of the game or a minute, but with 10 and a half minutes left in the game, Fox cut in and said, due to the non-competitiveness of this game, no question. they are switching. Not wow. a switch, too. <laughs> I'm sure they weren't talking about the Green Bay Packers the Packers, here. no. So I would hope somebody in Chicago would go to somebody in the Bears and say, you stunk up the field so bad today, they took you off TV with ten and a half minutes left in the game. I, I love that upper Midwest accent, man. That Chicago accent cracks me up. And this guy's like, you know, I just wish somebody in Chicago would go up to the Bears and tell him, you guys stunk it up out there. 
And you know what? In, in listening to that show for a half an hour after that game, I think there were probably 50,000 people lined up at the front door of the Bears' offices to tell them you stunk it up out there. That city was pissed off. Go, Pack, go. Right. 